Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial about Show MIDI. Show MIDI is a tool that allows you to very easily visualize what is going on with your MIDI devices. So, for as long as I can remember, I've been using MIDI monitors and they usually are pretty frustrating to work with. And let me show you what I mean. So I have this tool that I developed myself a few years ago called Receive MIDI. It allows you to show what is happening on the command line with MIDI messages. And then this is a popular macOS tool called uh, MIDI Monitor that will monitor all the MIDI messages that are coming in. So when I now uh, connect Linstrument, which is an MPE device that I also helped develop, um, each press will be sending out multiple streams of MIDI messages together with the note that is being played. So I'm pressing on one cell, and you can see this stream of MIDI messages just like flowing by, and I don't even know which note I pressed because it's all the way at the top. And then I have channel pressure and control chain 74, and then if I would move left and right, it's also pitch wheel. They're just being interleaved and just floating by as the system receives them, because MIDI is a serial protocol, like all the messages come in one after the other. Now, this is not how we think of MIDI. In essence, we think of MIDI as a very hierarchical system. So I have a MIDI device on which I have MIDI channels, and on those MIDI channels, you will be playing notes that have a velocity and potentially uh, polyphonic key pressure, and then a number of CC messages that have numbers and then values for these numbers, and pitch bend and channel pressure. And these are all sort of like organized in a number of buckets that contain the data. So let's take a look at what would happen with Show MIDI. So Show MIDI, when you launch it, it is a visual tool. Um, it shows all the MIDI devices that are connected to your computer. And now when I press this key, you can immediately see exactly that hierarchy. So I have channel three for the instrument that received a MIDI note like G1, and it had 28 as velocity. And you can see the control streams just changing in real time. I can see that it's pitch bend, channel pressure, and CC74, and all the values in that area. Now, when I release, I can see that the note off velocity was 39. And now, one of the features of Show MIDI is that it clears everything up after two seconds. Now, you can configure this. There's various timeout delays. But by default, it's two seconds. So let's now take a look at what happens if you use two notes. So I press two notes. And the same thing. Now, I can see it's channel four and five. I can see the velocity of G1 and D2 here, um, 20 and 66, and then those messages that are being controlled in real time. So this is way more about like organized in a way that we humans would think of this data as opposed to this stream of MIDI information that comes through. Um, Show MIDI has a bunch of other features. Uh, so for instance, you can connect multiple MIDI devices. So I'm now connecting the Seaboard block and I'm also connecting the Sensor Morph, and you can see all of these appear. And these are also a number of buckets. Um, so let me just resize and position this Show MIDI screen here a little bit. Um, and as I, for instance, press on the Sensor Morph, you can see similar information, same for Seaboard Block, and then same for instrument. And now this exacerbates the problem even more because now not only do you have interleaving messages for a single device, like all the devices are also interleaved if you look at the right-hand side in MIDI Monitor. Um, so yeah, that is, Show MIDI basically provides you this really cool and easy to uh, understand visualiz visualization. You can use a bunch of settings here, and I will hide, for instance, this network max session because I don't have anything coming in there, and then collapse this again, just neatly organize it here. Um, Show MIDI also understands MPE. So MPE is a protocol that can be advertised by sending a number of standard MIDI messages, and then it splits your uh, MIDI channels up in a number of zones and member channel and manager channels. So if I activate MPE mode on instrument by just pressing the key to do that, you can see all these messages appear that do that configuration, and they actually had the right uh, semantic meaning attached to it. And now when I play notes, you can actually see that channel two was a MIDI an MPE lower zone channel. And at the bottom, I actually have a low row on the instrument that is on the 
MPE manager channel. So not only does show MIDI show the MIDI data, it also provides meaningful additional information that you are actually might be looking for. Here's another feature. Um, so the instrument has a built-in step sequencer and clocking. So I can start that up and it will automatically detect the BPM. And it will also tell me when the MIDI start and stop uh, messages appear. And so while this is going on, I can still play over it. And if you then look at the other uh, monitoring tools, like you can see that these messages are all just interleaved. Well, here it clearly shows that there is a clock going on at 95 BPM. And if I then speed it up, it will automatically show how much it's sped up. And let's now go back a little bit and maybe get put it on 86. And you can see that it follows along. And um, I can still I can still like play all the other stuff here. Um, so a few other features, for instance, the sensor morph. Let's let's turn the clock off here. Um, now sensor morph will allow you to send up certain SysX messages. So there's some buttons at the top, and those SysX messages just neatly appear here. Um, you can see that they uh, are very useful and compartmentalized again. And this stays active while again while I'm playing notes, um, while on other like tools, it will just scroll by again. Um, so let's let's uh, start up another tool, like here, Synthesizer Animob-Z, um, to show you some of the other features. Um, so I'm going to resize this. Let me just close out um, these other ones here, because we don't really need that comparison anymore. So I have Animob-Z here. And I set up a number of different things in Animob-Z, um, notably CC, uh, high resolution CC messages. So what I set up for the volume here is it will be sending it out as 14-bit CC messages. And you can see again here that um, show MIDI detects that uh, CC7 actually also had CC39 being sent out as the LSB of this message, which is then recognized as 14-bit CC. Um, and then... You see another feature here, you have multiple notes on the same channel. And let's now go into settings and set the timeout delay to 10 seconds. Um, so now in this version 1.0 of Show MIDI, there is a bunch of very interesting new features. Uh, for instance, you can change the vis visualization mode. And you have this little icon here that indicates whether they are horizontal lines or here, graphs. And now you can see the history of how the changes happened. And let's try that with Linstrument. I'm gonna turn the volume down here a little bit. So this is pretty cool. And if I didn't change the pitch bend range, um, then you can see the similar thing that happened here. So it set the pitch bend range on all the MPE channels because this is what the MPE spec tells you to do. Now it clears out after 10 seconds. And now I can actually see a lot of pitch bend activity and you see this scroll by. Now you will ask yourself like, but wait a minute, do I have to remember what is going on at every any given time because things are just scrolling by? Well, that's another feature of Show MIDI you can actually pause things. So you've got this pause button and it will pause exactly uh, where it was left off. In the background, it will still continue monitoring. So if I unpause, you will see the latest state. You can use a space bar to pause and unpause. Um, so this gives you a very easy way to get a snapshot of what is going on uh, in, in your MIDI uh, data streams. Um, so what else do we have? Show MIDI allows you, like I showed, like I showed you, um, to hide certain MIDI uh, devices. And then it also supports themes. So if you go to the GitHub of Show MIDI, it has some explanations at the bottom here on how the themes work. And there's a number of themes that are shipped with it. And I already have these downloaded here. So these are the, th the themes that are shipped with Show MIDI. Um, so let's, let's get some um, MIDI data going here. Um, so there's a whole bunch of information that is being sent out here and then visualized. And now I can use um, a theme here and actually change the way uh, Show MIDI looks, um, which is pretty cool, um, depending on what you want to have as uh, visualization for your data. 
And another cool thing is that you can go into settings and you can actually edit the theme. So imagine that I want the background to be different and I want it to be some kind of purple. You can just do that in real time and visualize what it would look like. And this one here, I want also want it to be a little bit like a purple hue here. Um, now, if you just want to get inspired, you can do random and it will generate a random theme that will try to preserve certain amount of <clears throat> contrast differences between the different themed colors so that things stay legible, but it can give you a starting point for something new. Now, I personally really like the dark theme, so I'm going to uh, put that back. But then you can load and save the themes. You can reset to uh, the latest theme. And then there's a bunch of other options. You can show the data as hexadecimal. You can show the notes as numbers instead of as names. Um, and all this updates in real time. You can change the middle C octave. Um, we already talked about timeout delay, but a co one cool addition here is that you can set it to never, and then you will see everything that ever happens. Um, and then we've got this new button here where there's reset, I'll use it later, where you can just clear it out and start over. Um, you can keep the window always on top, I'm just showing it this way, so in case you always want to float it above other applications, and then you can change how tall the graphs are when you're visualizing the, the graphs. So that is a pretty cool feature too. Um, so let's um, pause again. And now, since I want to set timeout delay to never, you see all this information that was ever received by these uh, media devices. Now I can press reset and it's all cleared. So this could be a cool way to like always have information go through here. Um, let me clear, let me quit Animoxy here. Um, so always have information go through here and it will accumulate, but then you can say pause, look at it, or um, do backspace or delete to clear it out. Like uh, unpause it, get the latest state. Oh, actually there is a little bit too much junk here. Backspace, clear it out, and now you just get the latest stuff. Um, so that's that's a cool new addition also. Well, there you go. Um, that is Show MIDI as a standalone app. It also exists as plugins that work in Logic, that work in Reaper, so VST, AUV2, AUV3, Clap, LV2, and Show MIDI is available on macOS, iOS, Windows, um, macOS, iOS, Windows, and Linux. Um, I, I provide binaries for all of these, so if you go to the releases section here, you can download the binaries, but also it's open source. So if you want to build it yourself, if you want to create uh, new features or, or change things, it's it's very easy to get into it. It's fully doc it's fully uh, documented inside, but also you can get to the source code. And um, it's a typical C++ Juice application, um, so it will allow you to 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 work with that. Um, so yeah, give it a go, and I hope you like it. Um, thanks for watching.